My name is Mike Nasland. I'm the Chief Urology here at Maryland. What's important to me about this program is watching residents come in knowing virtually nothing about urology and leaving fully trained and ready to practice. And what we emphasize here to accomplish that is resident independence and resident decision making. We've got a heavy clinical schedule, so there's ample opportunity to learn how to do surgery and what the steps are. But what's more important than that in becoming a good urologist is making decisions and making uh, operative decisions as they go along. And we stress that here. When you're a junior resident, within a couple weeks, you'll be running an outpatient clinic independently, and you'll be doing outpatient procedures like cystoscopies and biopsies by yourself. Now, there's always supervision. We don't just turn you loose but there's not gonna be somebody looking over your shoulder while you're in this residency. You don't stand around in the OR watching attendings operate. Residents do the surgeries here. As you progress and get into your third year of urology, you run our outpatient urology clinic, you make patient management decisions, you make surgical decisions, and you do the procedures that come from that clinic, either with a chief resident, if it's a complicated case, or with a junior resident, if it's a simple case. And at Maryland, by the time you're a chief resident, you're going to be operating on your own. You're going to be making decisions on your own. The six months you spend at the VA as chief resident, you're actually at, like an attending there. You run that entire hospital. And you're actually overly responsible for the urology clinic as well. You won't feel like you need to do a fellowship from this program because you don't know how to operate. A lot of our residents do fellowships because they want to develop a specialty niche for a large group practice or they want to go into academics but you will not feel like you need a specialty because you can't operate. Hi, my name is Michael Phelan. I'm the Director of Minimally Invasive Urologic Surgery here at the University of Maryland. I joined the faculty after my training in 2003. When I reflect upon my time here at Maryland and why I've been here so long, the one factor I think that I think makes this a very special place is the work environment. It's a tremendous work environment. When I think about how that happens, it doesn't happen in a vacuum. We have great leadership here at the program. Dr. Naslin sets the tone and created a very collegial, fun atmosphere. For me, it's fun to come to work every day. I work with great colleagues. We get along tremendously. We all do very complicated surgery we're very happy with our results. What a happy work environment results in is happy residents. The environment is a great learning environment. We work in teams, we work together. I've never been unhappy with any of the residents. They all leave happy and competent and that makes me very proud. In summary, this is a very special place. I think that you'll enjoy your time here you'll definitely leave very well trained and very confident. My name is Minhaj Siddiqui. I am the program director for the University of Maryland residency program. What I really love working with, um, about working with the residents is this common sense of mission that we all have together. The residents and the faculty actually both cover the University of Maryland Medical Center as well as the Baltimore VA Medical Center. And what is really, I think, special about these institutions is that they are these tertiary referral hubs for a large healthcare systems that cover the region. Um, both these healthcare systems, by being virtue of the VA system and the state institution, are actually the safety net structures for the region. And so the types of patients that we're seeing, both at the Baltimore VA and the University of Maryland Medical Center, um, are very complicated. They're, they're very challenging patients and they come in with advanced, often late stage disease. They come in with numerous comorbidities. They come in with complex socioeconomic challenging issues. Uh, and so as a professional uh, who's drawn to challenges personally, I find this work very rewarding. And as, uh, as a program director attuned to the training of the residents, I believe that the training that the residents are getting are, is really just top of the line. I think that the residents come out of this program capable of handling really the most complex issues in urology and they are comfortable dealing with very challenging situations with very um, complicated surgery and they are ready when they come out of here to do anything 
in the field of urology and really go anywhere. Beyond just taking care of complicated patients, a lot of these patients are coming to us after having seen doctors locally and being told that this, their cases are too complicated, too challenging. And they come to us often as a last hope. And so it's really just so great when we can actually do something for them. And, and we accomplish this as a team, the attendings and the residents working together. And that has really just been a great part of working here. Hi, I'm Rena Malik. I'm a, the Director of Female Pelvic Medicine and Reconstructive Surgery. And I think what's really special about here is that even when I started here and I did my first case with the residents, I was immediately impressed at how well they handled themselves, how well they performed surgically with their techniques and their ability to communicate. It really was surprising to me after being at a number of different institutions how special this place really was. And I think part of that is due to the diversity of programs and rotations that we have here to offer. The faculty that the residents work with are skilled and experts in their own right in each of their own areas of, uh, of specialty. And so they rotate not only with the four of us at the University of Maryland, but they also go to the uh, private institution and rotate with faculty there who are also have high volume practices where they do uh, a lot of very complex cases and they go to Johns Hopkins to work with the pediatrics uh, urology team there that is world renowned and works on very complicated and very you know challenging things and I think that that experience in and of itself really makes residency just very special here and the residents get trained and and work on such unique and diverse cases here that they come out being extremely well prepared. I think generally speaking, it's a wonderful place to work. We all get along really well and enjoy each other's company. And I think, what more can you ask for? Getting the world-class training and working with people that you really enjoy. Hi, my name is Patrick Temrink. Uh, I'm one of two chief residents uh, in urology here at the University of Maryland. Uh, originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, I went to uh, undergrad at Duke University, then came back to Ohio for medical school um, at the University of Toledo. Uh, I was fortunate enough to match at the University of Maryland for residency. Um, it's actually one of the very few interviews I do remember. Um, I remember going out with all the residents the night before and it just felt like a nice night out with friends. Um, and I actually still remember the hospital tour uh, because at the university there's this immense atrium uh, in the middle of the hospital that kind of gives you this grand feel. It makes you kind of feel like you're part of something bigger than just a residency program. Residency program. Um, as looking for residency programs, you always kind of want to see autonomy. Um, you want to see that you have talented and renowned surgeons and attendings. Um, you want to also know that the, the residents you're working with, you'll be happy with and able to kind of endure the five years of residency. Um, but I think overall, the one thing that you always want to know graduating from a, a surgical residency program is that you will be a talented, impressive, and capable surgeon. Um, and I know that for certainty that when I graduate here, I will have the skills, the capabilities, and um, the know-how to learn, um, but also be um, able to practice independently and be a talented surgeon. A lot of the times you'll find yourself here in the operating room as a chief, um, and people will refer you refer to you as the fellow um, because you're just you're leading the surgery you're directing what your co-residents are doing and the attending is allowing you because you have that talent talent and know-how to uh, direct the surgery um, and so it feels good it feels it feels something special to graduate from a program knowing that you have the skills and capabilities to be an attending already as a fifth year uh, I've already completed my entire surgical caseload from graduating and I just started my fifth year of residency um, so Maryland definitely gives you that capability and something that is especially unique um, and something that makes you feel uh, safe to know that when you graduate you will be able to give your patients what they need. Hi everyone, my name is Natalia Arias and I'm currently a PGY3 urology resident at the University of Maryland. I, when I interviewed here, uh, I got a strong sense from the residents that they, uh, they felt very confident in their skills, that they received a really solid uh, clinical and surgical training, um, and that they were very happy. They uh, got along well among themselves and with the attendings, so I felt it was a very 
good, uh, solid place to train at and that I would be happy during my time here. And so far in my training, uh, this has all proven to be true. Uh, during the PGY1 year, you rotate uh, with, within the general surgery department and you really get exposed uh, to a lot of fields within surgery. So you develop a basic understanding of uh, transplant and vascular, colorectal, all fields that we work closely with as urologists. And then as a PGY2 is your first urology year, you have a lot of autonomy. Um, and you get to see patients in resident-run clinics, you get to work them up in your procedure clinics, you get to operate on them, and then um, you get to see them post-operatively as well. So having that continuum of care was, has been a really valuable experience. And of course, you're in the operating room quite a bit as well. You do all the junior level cases, ureteroscopies, uh, TERPs, TRBTs, et cetera. Um, and the call schedule is also pretty nice uh, because your second call even as a PGY2. As a PGY3, you spend six months at Hopkins doing pediatric urology and six months doing research. Currently, I'm at Hopkins and it's been a really wonderful experience. Uh, the attendings and the residents are wonderful to work with and we do a lot of big open cases. Uh, so like bladder extrophies and bladder augments uh, and you walk out feeling like you're becoming a better surgeon. So overall, I feel uh, like I'll graduate this program uh, with all the skills I need to go into either private practice or fellowship.